just been out um, breaking in this Hyper MT with the LRP ZR28 Spec 4 in and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how I've got the reverse set up because uh, as you'll see in this video this truck can go forwards and backwards as well so I'm just going to show you how it works in the about Hyper MT I haven't seen any other videos of anyone well there aren't many Nitro videos of this but there definitely aren't many with reverse um, I haven't got it set up on the standard transmitter I've got it set up on the Fly Sky GT5 here so I'm just going to turn it on I have the reverse servo hooked up to channel 4 so let me just turn the truck on here so you can see steering's on everything I'll just tip it up so you can see underneath so uh, this servo here does the steering uh, which you can see underneath there and then this servo at the top uh, this is what changes gear and this is on a three position switch and you can see what it's doing is it's moving this rod here in and out of the gearbox so through that little rubber grommet there and basically there's like a gear selector fork like what you'd have on a uh, full size car in here and um, like a little collet thing that moves from uh, sorry forward neutral reverse so uh, channel 4 on the GT5 is a three position switch you can see here I've got it set so when I press up um, the servo horn uh, goes to the left and that is forwards Then, as I change it to the middle, you can see the servo horn is now kind of in a more middle position. And then, as I go down on channel 4, it goes backwards, which is reverse. So I'll just go through that looking at the servo. So that's forwards, neutral, and reverse. So you can see it's set up kind of similar to the how you'd set up your throttle servo. So you've got two collets and two springs. Ideally, you want these uh, collets an equal distance apart from the um, servo horn. But the way I've got the endpoints set up on channel 4 um, is basically slightly further away on this side for some reason. Um, but it seems to work okay. Sometimes it struggles to get into neutral and it stays in forwards. Um, but it's, it's not too bad. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, I'll give you a demonstration with the car on its wheels just so you can see. So if I spin this, you can see I'm spinning 
the gear for the transmission and the wheels are not turning at all. So I'll go into forwards now. So you can kind of see the servo down there is in the backwards position which is forwards. So if I spin the transmission now you'll see the truck moves forwards, it's going backwards because it's uh, a bit uneven but you can see transmissions locked forwards and then I go back into neutral again and I can spin the transmission and you can see it is still trying to go forwards actually so it's a bit stuck there but if I turn it now you will see it's going backwards and then if I go back to neutral again I should be able to spin it freely yeah okay so basically when I come out of reverse to go forwards it goes back into neutral properly but um, when I come out of forwards to go into reverse it doesn't go into neutral properly sometimes and I've got to do a bit of tweaking with that uh, it's not the easiest linkage to set up but that is pretty much how it works so you'll see a video of it going backwards and forwards and hopefully you'll uh, get an idea of how it works that will be uh, it for this video anyway so uh, I'll turn it off Goodbye.